In this video, we're going to take you through the daily logs, including how to create a daily log, how to edit them. And from there, we're going to talk a little bit about searching and viewing past entries. Now, to begin, we're going to start in the daily log section here. And effectively, when I first land here, I'm not going to have any posts. So we're going to create our first one by hitting Add Post. I can then enter in a description. Now, when I do that, something to keep in mind is that we're going to have a maximum of 250 characters. And on the right hand side, we're going to see how many characters we have out of the total amount. So just something to be mindful as you write up your descriptions. Next up, we can go ahead and change the date. So we do know that sometimes people are maybe catching up. I'm entering in the daily logs. So perhaps I meant to put this on Friday, but I got busy. So I can essentially backdate it to that particular date. And of course, lastly here, we can upload some images as a part of that. Now, like anywhere in Build Exact to upload images, I can either click inside the perforated box, which would then prompt me to search my computer, or as I'm going to do here today, I'm just going to simply click and drag my bottom screen to my top screen. It'll then identify the photo, and I can make some uh, changes to the original description or the original name of that photo if needed. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and hit Save, and that'll then upload the photo and the post for us to see. So a couple of things to note is firstly, it's going to have obviously my name here in terms of who the original creator of the post is. It'll then have the date that it's been backdated to. But if I hit this little down arrow, it will show me when it's been created. And when we edit it in a moment, the edited date will come up accordingly. To view the photos, I can always go ahead and give them a click and I can actually then browse them if I need to. Moving further along here on the left-hand side, we can also like posts as well. So obviously I've just posted this. So this is just going to show that I've liked my own post, which is completely fine. But uh, the idea here is that obviously as other people within Build Exact view and sort of want to create a bit of an acknowledgement that they've seen those posts, uh, they can do so there. They can also add comments in. And I can save that and same thing. It's then going to put my name and the date and timestamp of when I've posted along with the comment. I can hide the comments as well. So we certainly know that some daily logs may have uh, a whole bunch of comments back and forth discussing certain ideas. So you can hide them if you need to. I'm going to skip the share for a second because as we're noting that you can also edit a post. So perhaps after I posted it or maybe a few days later, I might want to sort of add a little bit more context or something. I can always go ahead and hit the edit function here and add some more info in. And hit save. And again, this will then give me a little edited tag. And if I hover over it, it'll tell me then the timestamp of when it was updated. And of course, from here, we can also share it into the client portal. So to do so, I hit share. Um, we then have the three tabs. So starting at the top, we can edit the original post before we share into the client portal. So perhaps just want to uh, change the description a little bit, make it a bit more client friendly. Um, we can also change the name of the file that we originally attached. In terms of the client portal, uh, we can also invite the client in at this stage if we want to. And when it's posted, it's going to be shared into the client timeline. Now, we're not going to go through the client portal in this video. We do have additional videos where we talk a little bit more about the timeline and more broadly about how to invite clients in and a whole bunch of other things. So definitely look out for those videos if you're interested. And then lastly here, we can go ahead and edit the email notification that will go along with that. So from there, that's how to upload and create and edit them. Last thing to talk about is how to then view them. And in that, obviously, we know projects may go for weeks, months, or potentially even years. So in terms of being able to look back and find previous posts, we can either do it by searching on the date. So you'll see here, uh, this is when I backdated the post, so I can see how many posts are on that particular day and navigate accordingly to them. Or I can also, using this search bar here, I can search posts or image names uh, just simply by typing in that section. And that's Daily Logs. Mm -hmm.